Okay, Victor Momo from Excel Moments here with the continuation of the solution series to Excel BI's LinkedIn challenges. And if you are not following the Excel BI LinkedIn page, I will advise you to if you want to boost your Excel formula game. This is challenge 165. So what do we have here? Okay, from a data standpoint, it's basically one column. Column B here is your solution or expected result. So you just have a single column of data which contains uh, first lady names of the United States, basically. So now, how do we get column B? Let's look at the statement we have here. It says, list the first lady names which start with the top three most frequently occurring letters. Okay, so top three most frequently occurring letters. Now, when you look at, he's done a breakdown for us here. It says E, names that start with E, L, and M occur seven times. That seems to you like the top three, right? E, L, and M. But that's not how it works. E, L, and M, they are all tied. So it means that, you know, there are seven names for each of those alphabets. So they are all in first place. So that's number one. Okay, so then the next one happens to be J, which is two, and H happens to be three. So the, the tricky part here is knowing what your top three is. What is the third largest number? And then using that as your cutoff or threshold to then get the top three. So don't get it twisted. You can't just do large of, you know, the count you have comma three. You need to get a unique count. And then the third largest number there is what becomes your band from which you can now get your first second and you know third most occurring alphabet so that's the tricky part aside that it's a relatively simple problem i think anyway let me show you how i approach it so basically what i would try to do first of all is just to look at all these names and try to get a count of how many names in that range you know start with the alphabet that that name starts with so what i mean for example is this is abigail adams she starts with a want to know in this entire range how many names start with a so that will give me means that every name that starts with a we have the same count every name that starts with b we have the same count i would then get a unique count from there and get the top three and that becomes my criteria that i then measure everybody against let me start i think it's easier when i put it on the grid so i do a count if i select the range control shift down control backspace brings me back up and i want to test how many times you know in this range, you have names that start with the same alphabet that this particular name on the row I'm on starts with. So I do left of the same range. Okay. Now I can say left comma one, right? So that I get the first character. But you know that for the left function, the norm chance, you know, is optional. And if you omit it, Excel defaults to one. So it means that this is the same as just doing left A2 to A48. So that gives the first alphabet. But now if you do a count if this way, you know, you're going to get zeros, right? Because what it means is that you're looking for names that are A, exactly. What you need to do is you want to look at names that start with A. So it means it's A and then it could contain as many other characters. That's the beauty of having the wildcat, which works with like the count if. So you do that and then you close the bracket. Okay. So, and this gives you a count. What you see here is that these three names, because they start with A, they will have the same count. If you go down to where you have E's, for example, all of them have the count of seven. Okay, so good. So that's it. But now the tricky part is just getting what your third largest number is. So now you don't just do a large of this and do comma three for this problem, right? It's more like a dense ranking. Okay, so you don't just do this. If you do this, you get an answer that is somewhere because you have seven E's, seven L's, seven M's. So your top three will be seven. But that's not what you want to do. So you need to, first of all, get a unique count. Okay, so which is take a unique list, right? And here you can now do large, sorry about that, large of three. Okay, so this now tells you that this is the third largest number. So any of these names that has a frequency or a count that is greater than or equal to this is in your top three. So that's really what it is. So now I'm going to delete that part, uh, come back here, and I'm going to just modify this slightly. Because I'm going to use this expression further down the line, I'm just going to use the let function and assign it to a variable. So maybe I give that A, I go to the end, Right. So now what do I want to do? I want to filter these names, but I need to have a criteria. My criteria is I do a filter on the names where the count is greater than or equal to the third, you know, largest count. Right. So, but don't forget the unique bit of it. That's really the tricky part. So here I'm going to do a filter and then I'm going to select this control backspace 
and my criteria is where it counts for you know those names which already have been defined in a variable a so that a is greater than or equal to i come to the large part right and instead of just saying large of a comma three i won't do that i will say large of what unique of what a right that's my array comma three so this gives me the third largest number so that is after looking at the unique list and getting the third largest one so that closes you know the uh, large this should close the filter this should close the let and then yeah we have this okay and you can see if you compare what we have with the expected results we are fine so you can see the names that start with e l m h and so on so the point here is that it's not your regular you know top three because you would have repetitions right so what you are really looking at is top three within the unique counts that you have that's the only tricky thing here but once you understand of course what the question you know is asking uh, you pretty much can work out a solution you know that gives you what is required so i hope you know you enjoyed this i think this one was relatively simple and straight to the point if you did please hit like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel we're doing very well 3000 subscribers and counting so you can make it 3001 <laughs> so subscribe to the channel excel moments for now i'm out